baby. The Try Guys are throwing a surprise bachelor party for our best buddy, Keith. By spending none of our own money. We work for BuzzFeed. It is a major media company. And if we can't exploit that for one of our best friend's bachelor party, then what's the point? Keith, over here. And that's Brian. That's his brother. Say hi. Can I take the bag off yet? No, you can't take the bag off. Keith has no idea what's about to happen because we are going to take him on the biggest, <laughs> baddest, <laughs> most expensive bachelor party of all time. We're getting kind of, kind of nuts! And it's all happening in Vegas. Vegas, baby! What happens in Vegas gets put on the internet. The airplane the Triad guys are flying on today is valued at $6,000. It's a cake! <laughs> it's a private jet with an app. Took out my phone, I went beep boop bop beep, got a private jet. It's a 15 minute flight out to Vegas. I've been to Vegas five times, I don't remember any of it. I've been to several bachelor parties, but never in Vegas. The crown jewel of dirty guy things. And look who's with us. Thanks for getting my private jet look. It is our job as best friends to throw an absolutely debaucherous weekend filled with mistakes, regrets, and hangovers. First, first private jet. jet! First, first private, private jet. jet! First private jet! So the first thing that people do when they find a private jet is drink a lot of booze. Free booze, free booze, free booze, free booze, free booze! And take a lot of dumb pictures. We literally delayed the plane 15 minutes just so we could take pictures. You get a nice crew that's gonna take care of handling your luggage. Beautiful airplane with Free booze in it, water, sodas. Mystery whiskey. Even the seatbelts are gold. So our company does a lot of really high net worth executives, um, business people mostly. I've been farting all over this place. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh! It's faster than most planes! I've never seen Eugene actually nervous. I'm not nervous. Yeah. He's so nervous. <laughs> Why do you still have your seatbelt Shut the fuck on? up. Shut the fuck up. Wa-boom. Wow. Chicken and waffles. Wow. Chicken yeah. watch. Anybody else want some chicken? Yeah. Yeah. Chicken. Chicken. Yeah. I mean, I got a chicken. I got a private jet. I got my boys. That's not pretty good. Though. Private jet. We'll see private you in Vegas. Bow. We are landing in Las Vegas, Nevada. 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 It's Nevada. 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 Wait, hold on. I, I don't care, but Nevadans will get upset. You say Nevada. I say Nevada. 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 We're in Las Vegas. I love that all of Vegas looks like different areas of a theme park. Hey, look at all these boys. But it's not just the Try Guys on this bachelor party. We got a whole big crew we're rolling with. Roll call! I've got two of my buddies from Chicago, LP and Chris. I got Alex and Huey from my comedy band Lou Burger. Brian and Mark, who are two of my best friends from college who also live in LA. My brother's there, Try Guys are there, and then Chris Reinecker. It's a party. Uh, I know it's hard to keep it a secret, but it's also hard for me to not be in control. As you can see by me grabbing my shoulder in stress. <laughs> so Keith, we're actually, we're not going to the regular hotel. Uh-huh. Where uh, there's a private entrance. The villas at the Mirage. Bye, bye, bye. How do we know it's real? If it's a Mirage. <laughs> what? Welcome to the villas at the Mirage. There's only eight, eight places rooms. to stay in this That's enormous right. castle. And this is it. Welcome to your villa. Holy shit! <laughs> Let me take you to where the magic happens. Very forward, Nick. Oh my god. So this is one of two bedrooms. Dual masters with dual master baths as well. Those bathrooms are both bigger than my apartment. The toilet is a fucking square open toilet. This is our own special linen that we use here. Yeah? Different from the rest of the hotel. So the other commoners don't get this fancy linen? Not this fancy. Just folks like you and me? That's it. All right, Nick. What are you doing for the rest of this weekend? <laughs> Look up, smile. And we didn't even get to see the best part. Oh, okay. There's the best part? Yeah. There's a tiny pool! What, and a big duck! I did not think my day would start out with a private jet that leads to me being in my underwear on a duck. It's like gorgeous. It's nice being on a uh, bed that's only six inches off the floor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All of our rooms do come with their own private butler service. 
Wow, it's so soft. <laughs> we have a dedicated staff, dedicated chef, so any order that you make is coming right from our kitchen. We'll send runners all across the United States, all over the world sometimes, just to pick up special requests for guys. Wait, if I wanted like squirt, but I wanted squirt from South Carolina, you'd do that. I would not tell you no. That'd be the most expensive soda you've probably ever bought. That's an expensive <laughs> squirt. How many places make fried chicken here? Oh, we make the best fried chicken. Prove it. <laughs> oh, someone didn't flush their pee. <laughs> I didn't know how to flush. You left your pee in there, Chris? I, I, I pressed this. Chris, this is the nicest place we've ever been. I don't, how do you flush? <laughs> So we're gonna head to the bedroom. We're gonna make this a true chicken watch moment. Chicken watch moment. Good crispy, yes. And the guy crunch like a drum. I'm giving it the sexy nod because look at how that looks. It's beautiful. This is the most beautiful chicken yeah. we've ever had, I think. It's as beautiful as Huey Stonefish is right now. <laughs> this is one of the best I've ever had. Chicken watch! Chicken watch. Vegas edition. Chicken watch moment. This is the first time I'm meeting some of Keith's friends. And there's this cool thing happening where like old friends are becoming new friends. And new friends feel like they're old friends. And we're all just one big happy Keith family. So we're getting crumbs all over this expensive ottoman. I know that you really like pinball. So we are going to the pinball hall of fame. What? What? He loves pinball? What? Don't you know I love pinball? I think my love of pinball originates from the Sesame Street pinball intro. You're playing a very special pinball game. I was lying. Surprise, <laughs> motherfucker! It's this! Australia's Thunder from Down Under is a show. It's, uh, we, we all start out in costumes that we, that we think women might find appealing. We work our way down from there. We're going to teach you a few dance moves today that uh, Keith here might be able to use on his wedding night. Spice things up, you know? Oh yeah, it's pretty <laughs> vanilla, I'd say. <laughs> they taught me a little bit of moves so I can impress Becky in the bedroom on wedding night. So you go one, two, two. you go around, and down. Like a ready to poop right on the ready floor. Ready to poop. Yeah, I got you. Yes. Enormous dick. Yeah. show her what's happening later. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> there's I'm no so sorry. There's no sorries in that step. Slide step back spin. Suck it. And then the suck it. You got all these sexy Aussie men. Uh, I became a sexy Aussie man myself. So I think it's time that you actually practice well, practice on someone ready for your wedding night. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I can find a good Becky look-alike. Mark, let's get you up there. Round of applause. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Wow. So I met Keith in 2006. We ended up in the same improv group in college. And I believe he was playing French horn and singing some sort of offensive song. And I remember walking away going like, that guy was really funny, but I don't know if that's okay. This is just what Becky's hair looks like. This is perfect. This is such a close resemblance to my beautiful bride. She'll be thrilled about this. I got to be on stage with the pros, ripping my shirt off amongst some gorgeous men. Oh my. And I feel bad for them because <laughs> I got a nice torso. So, uh, now what? We are changed and we are ready for yet another surprise for Keith. Where are we going in the pool? Oh, you'll see. Keith loves to see his name. Keith loves to hear his name, and Vegas is all about spraying his name everywhere. Did you ever watch like MTV Spring Break? This was that, but in Vegas. It felt like a goddamn music video. People are like splashing around, everyone's looking hot in bathing suits. We have a private cabana reserved for us, including bottle service, some tasty snacks, and a few Keith-related surprises. And then they bring fried chicken wings. I mean, so much fried chicken, it's great! And then they take me to the DJ booth. The man says, It's Keith Utsavas! Most people don't know who I am, so I just start fucking dancing. Best part! I get to do the And I also get to hit the big button that for some reason shoots fog out of the DJ. Everyone went fucking nuts. This was a lot of bottle service. My favorite memory of Keith 
is also my worst memory of games. So one night, we were talking about the influence of John Philip Sousa on the culture of America. Keith got so upset, stripped naked, penis and balls and everything in front of my girlfriend, and through that chair of my apartment, right through that beautiful new screen door that I had, he loves his American marches. Just when I think, you know, it's winding down, maybe we should start heading. The entire crew of bikini-clad women come back and they're like, Keith, go stand in the pool. I'm like, okay, great, I'll stand in the pool. They literally surrounded him like a goddamn champagne bukkake and just spray. And Keith dancing, getting showered in champagne. The first five seconds are like, woo, champagne. The next 30 seconds are, I'm gonna drown. <laughs> and just when I think it's done, one last lady just pours one more bottle directly onto my face. And I'm like, who's doing this? Why would this happen to me? It's supposed to be my day. That was a huge waste of champagne. <laughs> Vegas, baby! Guess what, Keith? We're not even close to done. So what do you do to follow up one of the most insane pool parties ever? Time for the boys to suit up. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> My name is Jamal Tarzada. I'm the executive chef at Libertine Social at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. We have like unlimited resources to get any product on earth here and incredibly fresh. It's almost like the opposite of what happens in the rest of the country and what makes those restaurants special where everything's all about like local and sourcing everything. Not a lot of food grows in Las Vegas, so we have to get really creative. This is a tuna cone. This is my favorite. I could eat this for dinner every day. Wow, that's tremendous. Third fried chicken of the day. Oh, Jesus. What Keith doesn't know is that the signature dish will be prepared by me. The steak is from an American Wagyu cow. That's the same cow that's used in Kobe, Japan to make Kobe beef. I hope it tastes good. Otherwise, I'm like ruining a very expensive cut of meat. There you go. Woo! Just a super unctuous, rich, delicious, almost like creamy meat. It burns at like 750 degrees, so prepare to be uncomfortable by how hot it is. Woo! Oh, my face is on fire! For marriage! Be aggressive. Ah. Don't hesitate, you gotta get the ones all the way in the back. We grill some mushrooms. We're using maitake mushrooms today. Uh, that gets tossed in a truffle vinaigrette with uh, soy sauce, lime juice, some radish, fresh herbs. If my coworker Stephen Lim taught me anything, it's that this dish needs truffle. Our smoke gun. Oh yeah! Get it, baby! Get it, baby! More, 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 more. Alicia, there you go. Okay, that's good. Okay. Truffle. You ever just take this for uh, recreational use? <laughs> yeah. I'm Tony Abugan. I'm principal mixologist and partner here at Libertine Social. And I've got something really special for the groom-to-be. It's our summertime swizzle. I'll need a couple volunteers to help me make up some pictures. <laughs> Why am I spilling? Wait, what, what? Swizzle, swizzle, Why quick. Why am I the only one spilling? <laughs> there you go. Up and down. No, not like that, Zach. Yours is perfect. What's like his like? Zach's gonna be a little watered down because uh, he over swizzled. I really thought I was gonna do a good job and I just swizzled all over the place. Oh yeah, I'll take yours and not Zach's. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> extra truffles on it for you, bachelor boy. I see that. I think Ned was just trying to skyrocket this bill a little higher and just throw money on the plate for me to eat. That's so good. Oh my God, that beef is so good. It worked, I ate it. Balagia. Oh, goodness me. All of these surprises so far were a little bit of foreplay. The climax though is when we take Keith to hide at Bellagio. We have the best view in all of Las Vegas. This entire section is ours. We have some very good alcohol coming our way, so drink up, enjoy. The night is yours, my man. Thank you very much. Thank all you guys for coming out, for making this so fun. We appreciate it. I first met Keith in 2009. I have twin girls. Keith and his fiance, Becky, uh, would come over and watch my daughters every Thursday. He spent a lot of time helping me and, and just being a good friend. Keith thinks that this table was his special treat, and he's all excited, he's having a good time, 
Then they bring out this $250,000 bottle of champagne. What is this? What is this? What a waste! Cheers, guys. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Absurd, absurd bottle. A giant bottle of champagne, a gorgeous view. What could be better? Then they bring out this like fancy button. It kinda looks like a doomsday device. As part of your package, you're gonna select a song to set off the fountains of Kawaja. Oh. I'm getting this magical button. What? So you can pick any Go. song you want, <laughs> and when you press that button, the song will start and the fountains will go. This is the first time I've ever been given a red button. A button that like makes decisions, that affects people's lives, that will change the course of history. So I do it any level-headed person does. Santa baby! It's Christmas in July, baby! The staff is confused, and uh, we're not allowed to play that song. I thought he could pick any song he wanted, but Christmas in July, I get maybe that is half a million dollars. We were only paying a quarter of a million dollars. So, I picked Ho Down by Aaron Copeland. We all counted down, and he gently slapped that button, and the fountains erupted. And you know that below, all of Las Vegas was sharing in our experience. We just kind of got to just have a moment of peace looking at the fountains. It felt like the end of Ocean's Eleven. It was like the most magical moment of my life until I get married. This is awesome. Whoa! I think the night's done. Then we turn around. The Bellagio restaurant has turned into a club. Now let's party! Let's party! in the same place, but it looks different. Oh, I've got a table. There's a screen that goes up, a DJ comes out, lights, dancing, and it, we're all of a sudden in a club. And then from there, it's a blur. We go fucking hard for the rest of the night. There's just lasers everywhere. There's a bridal party, and we hang out with them. Then we go later, bridal party, we got other places to be. So then we go to lights, which of course, lots of lights. Uh, we have another table for some reason. We're just partying. To make Keith even more happy, I had a special idea at the club. They say, Keith, turn around. <laughs> turn around. And the screens have my name raining down on them. It's like at the end of Solitaire on Windows 95 when all the cards like bounce everywhere. Except it was just Keith. <laughs> he was so happy. It was just, it was all worth it. And then we go to Hakkasan. Hakkasan was just another planet. And Tiesto, that famous DJ, he's DJing. So we're dancing. They gave us these bracelets that light up, the whole crowd lights up. Good morning, Good morning. Keith, how do you feel? Good morning. I feel depleted. I didn't sleep enough. I think, I think Vegas took a little part of me and clawed it and said, this is mine, I'm keeping it. When you are in Las Vegas, you get to feel like you're royalty. It is a city designed to make you feel awesome and to allow you to live in a fantasy, if, if only for a day. It was a special experience because it was all about Keith. And it was about friendship, it was about brotherhood. Because we love Keith. We, we love, love Keith. Keith. You know, Keith is, is so, such an amazing performer, such an amazing guy. Keith is a great person to collaborate with, to hang out with, to be friends with. I'd encourage him to keep his spirit of improvisation and his spirit of spontaneity. I think the most important thing he can do in his marriage is find the times that Becky's the star. I think Keith doesn't need that much advice. He's, he's very good with relationships. Everybody likes Keith. I think he's gonna be great. Now Keith's gonna be married. I'm also married. And I, I, Eugene has dogs, so like I, I need a thing. Guess I gotta have a baby or something. 